Our inquiry is around high-risk youth, as you can see. It's how does adventure-based learning increase school engagement and resiliency in high-risk youth? And the way that we approach this was that we turned it over to the program staff to begin to want to see the change and what kind of change they wanted to make. And so they embarked on a process to discover what's going on in the province, what's going on. They've made some school visits here on the island throughout Metro Vancouver and started to find <clears throat> different ideas that would work with them. And they wrote up a proposal around this model of the hero's journey, about departure, initiation, and return, and tied it into the way that they would connect it with curriculum. And that would include film and photo studies, literature and science, and so on. And it all culminates in the end in a personal project that the kids will be doing. So one year in, what have we done and what have we learned? Again, we've engaged the staff in this inquiry process. We spent some time doing some staff training. There's been some training around uh, outdoor ed, around CPR, and those kinds of things. The staff have also selected some new, a new outdoor education course to bring into the program, uh, a BAA course that we've done some uh, pro-D around that. And in the hiring of one of our new teachers, it just sort of tied in that she brought in a new social justice course with a focus on restorative justice with the kids, and she'll speak to that in the video as well. And it began a shift in thinking and approach from the staff. And so because it, it came from them, it was very effective in terms of going from this classroom academic to this experiential and relevant curriculum for the students. The biggest thing we've learned this year is we had to slow down. We thought that we would be able to actually be further ahead than we are come June. But the piece that was really missing is that the kids just don't trust adults. They don't trust school. And we've had to spend a lot of time this year in building that trust and connection with the students before we could get them to meaningfully engage in some of the activities and some of the goals of the program. So uh, that's where the shift has come in the staff and in us in terms of it's not just about putting in a program and curriculum and going out on fun outdoor trips and doing overnight experiences. Without that trust, none of that works.